Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forum weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome everybody guys, let's take a look again on the gold market. Sorry that I confused yesterday the videos, so I have prepared video, but somehow just uploaded the video for the day before and actually recognized this mistake only in the second half of the day, so change the video later, but I don't know whether you have seen it or not. Besides, in the moment when I have actually replaced the video, it's mostly the action that we discussed there in the morning already has happened. Anyway, currently, if you still, maybe you're reading the, have read the, the text update in the forum, uh, the extent of the extent, uh, instead of the video. So if you have taken the position yesterday based on the hand shoulders passion that we discussed uh, currently, it makes sense to protect your position, maybe to move stops to the break even, because Although on a daily chart we do not see some really big changes, on intraday charts uh, gold shows some signs of weakness. Um, it doesn't mean that the Polish context will be broken and uh, currently we still have the Polish trend here, consolidation around resistance. So the gold still could um, keep going higher, but gold could reshape the, the price, the price uh, pattern. So actually uh, it might, might might happen by the differing uh, shape of the price, different patterns might be formed. That will become the background for a possible upward action. Besides, gold currently stands very dependable on uh, coming um, CPI numbers tomorrow, and uh, it might be the major driving factor for the gold, for the gold this week. Um, that's just a few moments that we need to keep an eye on. On the four-hour time frame chart, take a look what what we have. Actually, this bounce has happened from the confluence, but upward motion, as you can see, stands not very active. Yes, here we have bullish reversal bar on the follow time from chart that put the foundation for the possible acceleration. But it is, in general, after, after this initial pullback, this looks a bit slow and uh, we do not have this acceleration that it's preferable to get. And this makes me think that, uh, well, this action might become more choppy and you, if you have taken the position based on the hand shoulders that we discussed recently, think about the position protection. Additionally, uh, another moment to keep an eye on here is uh, you could keep an eye on the possible bullish grubber. This could be formed here. If, mar if market will form the grubber, that, that might pro provide additional confidence and at least will tell us that that's okay. So maybe indeed we, we could get the upper continuation. So currently, as you can see, price still stands above the MA city. No grubbers have been formed, but if later it will be formed, that will be just great. So some additional points in favor of the upper continuation. So market maybe still will complete the target of the pattern that we have. And uh, yesterday, if you have missed the video, yesterday actually we talked about this head and shoulders pattern. And I said in the video that patience is usually rewarded um, because two days before we said it's well, guys, it's probably better to wait for a clear pattern, although you could take the position right at XOP of this pattern. So, uh, and indeed, right on the next session, we've got this right arm. So that's the point that you have to make the decision if you'd like to go long. So if somehow you have taken the position, think about the protected, think about the moment stops to the breaking, because take a look with this performance. Although yesterday we've got here nice acceleration above the neckline. Today, market hasn't reached the OP and dropped below the neckline again. And uh, here's minor grubber has been formed. It suggests the taking out of these lows. And it means that potentially we could get still kind of the ABC retracement down to the 18.45. So risk of this action uh, stands really not small. Currently, yes, market is flooring around major confluence, 18.50. Um, it stands flat here. Maybe it could start up reaction right from here, but we should be ready for a negative scenario. And... Um, it might be if market will complete this ABCD pattern. And uh, chance for that, well, not really small. It really could happen. 
that's just a warning f moment that I would like to share with you, um, especially for those of you who already have the position right here. For others who do not have the position, but if you're considering taking the long position, taking you have to uh, be prepared for risk of the CPI report tomorrow. So if you'd like to buy gold, you could consider the same two levels. Actually, this is the first level, 1850, where you could think about minor position taking. This is the second one, 1845. But as I said, gold currently is too dependable from the numbers and statistics that we will get. And although technical part, it doesn't exclude that market could keep, could keep going higher, but you should be ready for uncertainty with the CPI report that could crush and just destroy the any technical picture. So uh, that's actually that you need to be prepared for. And that's our view of the goal. And final, finally, guys, uh, the one, one moment that in general on the 10 year yield it also well, it's not really friendly for upside strong performance on the gold because this overextended action market obviously is also waiting for the CPI. It's because this is direct indicator for interest rates. But this, as you can see, some a bit skewed shape of the hand shows in favor of the upper continuation when the market keep going with the six days in a row to the upside. This is not, of course, supportive to the gold. That's another reason and maybe the, the, the kind of the weakness with this hand and shoulders that we see currently it's maybe not just occasionally. So it, it may be the first sign of the f of the failure. Uh, this performance actually makes the Polish context weaker that we, we have currently. Well, um, that's actually the reason why I call you to move stuff to the break even if you have taken position yesterday in this area. So that's our view on the gold.